tail a runt from a peanut. Well, a runt is basically just a bunny in the litter that's smaller than the others. Okay? See this little buck? This little buck, one reason I think that I like him so well because I like having small bucks. He would be considered a runt. See? Even, even this one, which is closer to his size, he's, he's a runt compared to that one, especially if you put him on the scales. Okay? He's just a small bunny. Okay? Peanut... And a lot of people use it use the term incorrectly. The peanut it means the rabbit when it's born, the kid is destined to die. It's not going to live. It might live. I've heard of them. I actually know of somebody who's raised some to a couple months old, actually, uh, knowing that it was going to eventually uh, pass on. But she let it kept it comfortable and let it live just as long as it could, and it lived to be almost. Right at, right at eight weeks old. But, a peanut, if you got a breed that has the dwarf gene, and you can look up online, I'm not gonna, I, I don't know off the top of my head all the breeds that actually have the dwarf gene. Uh, Mini Rex is one of them. Netherland Dwarf is one of them. Uh, New Zealand obviously is not. But there are other small breeds who don't actually have the dwarf gene. Uh, Polish. Polish rabbits are small and com comparable in size to the Netherlands dwarf. They do not have the, ne the, the dwarf gene. They are bred, they are just bred, selectively bred to be small rabbits. Okay, they don't actually have a dwarf gene. Uh, Jersey, I think Jersey Wooly. Don't quote me on this folks because I'm just guessing here and trying to go from memory and my memory is not always real great. Don't agree with that. I'm not agreeing with it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but, can you see better that way? You stand up there all big. Uh, but, uh, I think Jersey Woolly might be one of them that carries the dwarf team. Uh, trying to think. I need to look that up and find out if, uh, Lightning McQueen, the dwarf Oto, is called dwarf Oto, but does it actually have the dwarf team? Just because they call, call it a dwarf Oto doesn't necessarily mean it has the dwarf gene. It could just be a small version, a, ver a smaller version of the Oto. Because there's also what's it called, Blanc, 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 Blanc the Oto. Yeah, like Oto. I'm probably not saying that right, but that's okay. That, that don't sound like that don't sound like my language anyway. And that's and I only know one language, the redneck. You speak that right? Yep. Okay, uh, so the peanut. The peanut. If if, if your if your breed is not a dwarf breed, it's not a peanut. It should not be a peanut. If it is a peanut, you've got some crossbreeding going on, and you may or may not already know that. But if you're raising purebreds and you're getting a breed, and you're and you and you come up with peanuts in a dwarf gene peanuts in a, in a breed that is not a dwarf carrier, then you've got some crossbreeding or something going on there. <laughs> but they, uh, but they, the peanut is, he's going to have an abnormally and oddly shaped head, and usually they're a little bit bigger not huge but bigger in proportion to the rest of their body and this part of their body their hips will be curved their backbone will be curved to where their hips almost almost can curl up and just right up underneath this this part of their backbone almost curls up underneath their body okay there's a definite and pronounced curve to this back part portion and it'll be curved up you know something something like that or what have you and you'll you'll know that it's 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 Oddly, oddly uh, formed in the, in the uh, hind quarter area, and uh, now a runt, a runt should look exactly like its siblings, only slightly smaller. A runt, now a peanut is usually half the size or less. Okay, uh, a runt is smaller than the others. A peanut is a lot smaller than the others usually uh, because the dwarf gene peanut or the dwarf gene if it gets a copy from both parents 
See, the dwarf gene is one of those genes where it's 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 dominant, but it can't be. You can't have it on. You know, there's two spots. There's two spots on each locus, and for the dwarf gene, you can't have the dwarf gene on both spots, or it's lethal. So if they get a copy of the dwarf gene from each parent, that baby's not going to make it. Okay, it's lethal to them. Whether they live a day, two days, three weeks, you know, a month and a half, they're not going to make it. It's just, uh, it's just a genetic certainty. They're not going to make it. A runt can very easily make it. Okay, here's proof. He was a runt. Okay. Don't have a peanut to show you because, well, they don't last long, uh, you know. Uh, and in all honesty, they you know, sometimes some breeders we don't we we let nature take its course. We just because, but because we check a litter every morning and make sure that none have died or anything like that. Uh, we just let nature take its course and let a kit peanut or not let it live as long as it can live. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we, we just let uh, we just let God decide on that. I guess uh, we don't call them. A lot of people will call a peanut as soon as it's born, and if they know that it's a peanut, I, I'm not going to do that. You know, if it lives a day or two. That's a day or two that it was entitled to live, and that's that's just you know that's not my choice. Uh, now, if it was a bigger rabbit, and it comes time to harvest those for meat and put those in the freezer, now then I guess it is my choice when to do that, but. This is a little bit different when you're deciding whether or not the thing gets to survive or not, and I'm just not going to make that choice. Uh, you know, I'll probably get some more of them good, good negative comments about that, but you know, that's okay. I'm just like everybody else. I'm entitled to my opinion, my way of doing things. You don't have to agree with it, but you don't. You're not going to change it either. So we can discuss it. Sure. Well, no problem. On a, on, I guess that's enough about. Run some peanuts, Felicia. I hope that answered your question without uh, dragging it out too long. We're going to call that. We're, we're going to call that good on this Q and A video. We thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and God bless. Mm -hmm.